All right, our last um, target for uh, our chemistry unit on mixtures and solution is we're going to further classify solutions as either acids or bases. So this is learning target 31. Let's beg, make that smaller. Um, you should be able to classify solutions as either, as either an acid or a base using characteristics of each. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a graphic organizer. And it's on the website. It's under, it's indented underneath this video. You're going to look at a document like this. And you're going to create a graphic organizer. So here are your instructions. So you're going to cut out the 3D graphic or organizer along the gray lines, or black line, which is what I think I have. Okay, so you're going to cut it all out. It should be one big uh, rectangle. Do not cut in between. Okay. Then you're going to cut along the dotted line. Okay, so only cut these dotted lines. This dotted line goes with that line. This dotted line goes with that line. For some reason, it didn't copy very well on my, on my picture. So you're going to cut the dotted line. Then you're going to fold the flaps to make four doors. And then you're going to open the flaps to describe each concept. So for each concept, you're going to give me definition, characteristics, and examples. There are four concepts, acids, bases, neutrals, and pH. Properties is not a concept. Basically, this graphic organizers, you are listing properties of acid, bases, neutrals, and pH. So what you're going to do, and you may use the internet or one of my textbooks if you would like, you're going to go for the flap for acid. You're going to flip it up, and on the inside, you're going to record the definition on what an acid is. What are specific characteristics of acids? And give me examples. So you're going to do that for each term of your graphic organizer for acid, bases, neutrals, and pH. Now, I'm going to show you some things that will help you um, answer those questions. Okay, so, um, and then you'll want to make sure you write your summary on the back of the foldable or in your notebook. And make sure you fold it in half so the title shows. It's pretty easy once you get it made to figure out how to do that. Okay, so let me see what this wants. Okay, so some characteristics of acids. Um, these pictures show you some characteristics. An acid has a pH of 0 to 7. It's sour. Um, strong acids down here have a pH of 0 to 4. Okay, a weak acid is 3 to, or that should be 4 to 6, sorry. Um, acids are substances that produce hydrogen ions when they're dissolved in water. It's a proton donor. Uh, it's, acids are corrosive to metals. They change litmus paper. Um, usually it's in red. Okay. Bases are bitter. They have a pH from 7 to 14. And you can see they give examples like ammonia, vinegar, aluminum chloride, stomach acid is an acid. Um, bases are bitter. They're slippery. Um, you're going to find these a lot in your soaps, cleaning detergents, like ammonia detergents. Um, their anti-acids are bases. Uh, there are substances that's when dissolved in water, you're going to release hydroxide ions, which are OH. That stuff I don't really want you to, to, that's a little bit higher level, but you can put it down there if you would like. To give you an idea of whether substances that you're familiar with are either acids or bases, we're going to take a look. Bleach is an acid. It's sodium hypochlorite, NaClO. Laundry detergent is ammonia. It's a base, NH3. Drain cleaner, sodium hydroxide, is a base. Lactic acid is obviously an acid. Soap is a base, sodium hydroxide. Window cleaner is also a base, ammonia. So these are compounds that you use in your daily life that are either acids or bases. An antiacid is a base. It's usually made up of sodium bicarbonate. Vinegar is an acid. It's called acetic acid. 
Orange juice is also an acid called citric acid. So what you notice is solutions can be either acidic or basic, and these are the compounds, the elements that they make up a compound for each one. Okay, so hopefully after you've created your foldable and you've filled out your definition characteristics, you should have a better understanding of what an acid and base is and some characteristics, and then you're going to be doing a lab to practice it.